5.39 a.m. Today's a big day. John B. and I are competing in a 150 boat tournament. We're boat 139 on Table Rock Lake. We've been here for like two days. Haven't caught a lot of fish, so we're really just gonna wing it, to be honest with you. We don't have a pattern. We don't have spots. We are simply gonna go fish. And if it works out, great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. As long as we have fun out on the water, it will be a good day. You ready to go catch fish? Time to go catch fish. What happened? John B and I are on. John B and I are on the water. It's uh, I don't know what time it is. It's it's still early. It's dark. But we gotta basically drive to the launch because we uh, we launched somewhere else. The boat was hanging out somewhere else. So we're gonna we're gonna go to the launch and then kind of hang out. And we don't I don't I don't think we blast off for about an hour. It is uh, it's about eight o'clock. Still, Still waiting. They're on boat like one ten, so we'll probably be taking off here in about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, it's nice and sunny, so we're gonna have a great topwater bite. Gotta love that. Andrew Flair in 129. Yep, follow the ranger between you and I. That's me. Ready? Yep. We uh, basically just went straight, <laughs> straight across the, the launch, uh, d only for the fact that there's 128 other boats in front of us and pretty much took up all the good spots already. So we're just, we've literally never, ever fished right where we're at right now. We have no idea if there are fish like zero so like i said this tournament is 100 percent wing there was a a young man probably i don't know maybe 10 11 12 i'm, I'm not good at telling age who was uh at the end of the dock as we were pulling out and he told me not to catch flare fish so that's my motivation that that's i'm working with stuff. today so that's the motivation that i'm working with today is uh having a youngster who is a fan of <laughs> the youtube channels telling me no flare fish goodbye this is all we need we're starting off with the uh Buzz bait, or I'm starting with the buzz bait. John B starting off with the uh, spook, a little spooky spook. So we, well, we haven't. I don't think we've really caught a topwater fish all week. I got three blobs first day. He got three blobs first day. So this is basically the definition of winging it. I kind of like it though. I don't like having a plan. No, normally I'm kind of a plan guy. Yeah, Flair likes plans. I like plans. Ask Peric. He knows all about that. But uh, when it comes to tournaments, I, I just get too stressed if I plan. Like I just want to go fish, man. Okay. All right, we're moving. Okay, audible number 47 for the morning, spot number two. We were gonna go to some creek where I caught a largemouth the other day and uh, we just decided there was nobody on the point. That's old KVD, cooking down Table Rock. I think this is, this is probably Ike. <laughs> Boy, you come pull up on us like that? I, Ike, you know better than that. <laughs> Dude, should go, no, he doesn't. We should go full KVD and be like. You think that's cool? I said, you think that's cool? Just tell me to leave, Kevin. I'll leave. I'll have to get mad Oh, no, there's one. Oh, John got one. Real, 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 real. Is it a good one? Oh, uh, I don't think it'll keep. See him come up on the graph like that? Yeah. That was crazy. Nice. All right, moving, uh, moving spots again. This spot didn't do very good. We don't. We we went from fishing topwater shallow to going to fish topwater shallow to fishing in 60 feet and catching a fish, and now we're back fishing shallow. We've got a really solid game plan. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm oh I, yeah, I dude, I'm going all out finesse net rig. It's uh it's calm, so you guys don't really want to throw like big big uh, moving baits unless they're topwaters for the most part. So you just get a little finesse finesse. What's John B throwing? John B throwing jig, he's going. I never, I never put down the jig. John B going after the big girls with the jig. I'm going after uh, just some keepers of this little net rig. How did you even do that? That's how you do it.
on this one. It's a little guy. First fish for me. Oh He's a baby. What is it? Small. And uh, it's not the size we're looking for. That's sometimes what you get with the net rig. Sometimes you can catch a keeper. Sometimes you catch a lot of small fish. But we're more or less just trying to trying to find some fish at this point. Did I run through it or I just marked on the grass? You ran over the top of it. It's like, it's about there. Got it. I need to pick this. There it is. Yep, yep, I got one. I don't know. I am, I'm keeping it down, keeping it down. <laughs> Dang it. Look at that small mouth. Oh man. All right, well, that's good. There's fish, we might've just fired them up. Beautiful. Beautiful table rock smallmouth. Wish he was uh, two pounds bigger. But I mean, right now we'll take take what we can get. It's a good. It's a good sign. There's when there's one, there's definitely more. Yep. Yep. That's a fish. Really? Yep. That's a fish. Okay. This might be an all right fish too, dude. Yeah. Oh, this is this is, this might be a keeper. I'll toss him on the board. Wake up. Anyway, 15, no pinching tail. You can see that. How close that is to 15. About a half an inch short. Spot of bass right there. See you, Felix. We were just about to leave, and I looked down on the graph as we were idling out. I saw a bunch of fish. And I cast a jig out there and I caught one. Half an inch short. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Way in is in exactly four hours. Ah, oh, it just broke. Okay, thank God. Get him. Get him, get him. Oh, baby. John B. John B with the hook up. Squeak, squeak. Oh. Got a little bugger. What? What? Broke off. There's one. I don't think it's very big. Look at him swimming. No way. That's huge. Well, that's how our day's going. Giant, big old Rocky. Uh, it's not the species we're looking for. There's one. Yeah. Little guy. Spot. Spot on the crankbait. Well, I mean, we're still catching fish. They're just not the freaking size we need. Where are the big ones? Little spot on the crankbait. Decided to go to the uh, windblown point and throw a crankbait. John's throwing the jig up there and somehow we just managed to catch a little fish. Two more hours, we have zero keepers. Lots of fish. They're just uh, not big, not big enough to uh, keep help us for the tournament. There's one. Nope. Another uh, short, short bass. That's all we can uh, find today. This lake is brutal. So it's currently 12:30, meaning. Two hours left to fish, and I'm running out of energy. So, this uh, tournament is brought to you by Lunchables. Links in the description if you guys want the uh, the promo code. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my Capri Sun juice box and uh, pizza and Airhead. Oh wow, two different kinds of cheeses. How delicious. There's one. Oh no! Oh. That's one him. smoke it. Did you see him come up for it? That's oh, a yeah. fish. Oh yeah. You're such an idiot. There's one. That's that's a, that's, a one. It is a good one, ain't it? Going too? No, I'm stuck. That'll keep. Woo! That might be 15. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's easy 15. Keep an eye on that spot. Oh, 
Going? Yep. I don't think it's a... It might be. Well. They're here, though. I caught a fish off that brush pile that you just said you didn't catch a fish off. Oh, was it really? Yeah. So I'm going to weigh him. Quick tip from uh, fishing with flare. If you're, you're using a board, bumper board, get it wet. That way you don't knock off the slime coat. Yeah, there's not a chance. Nope. 13 and a half. See it, Gertrude? I'm throwing all of these fishing poles into Table Rock, marking a GPS point, and then I'm gonna post it in the comment section, and anyone that lives in Table Rock can come pick up my entire rod and reel arsenal as well as all my tackle, because I'm never fishing again. He's strong, he's independent, he don't need no man in his life. So, uh, that's it. We're going to the weigh-in. We're probably gonna weigh this fish in, we'll find out. I have to, I have to drive home tonight. Woohoo! We are taking the fish to the weigh-in. That's how everyone's been waiting. Just one. What? Am I a YouTuber? He's he's a YouTuber. Do you know who he is? Who? You, you don't know who that is? I feel like I should. You should know who he is. <laughs> no, you are. Who am I? Blair. Do you, know, you don't know who that is? No. What? I literally was watching your shows, your YouTube yesterday. Oh, uh, that's John B. Go subscribe to him. Okay, I will. Alright. You guys running all the cameras. Yeah, we got too many just for one fish. <laughs> skinny too, man. Haven't heard this yet, Nebraska. Andrew Flair from Omaha, Nebraska. And John... <laughs> yeah, don't, it's alright. Okay. <laughs> hey, hang on. John B. Right. Come on. Barza Chini. Chini, yeah. Barza Chini. Yeah. Not bad. That's not bad. Chini. Okay. One pound and 14 ounces, 114, you're gonna have your tie for 48th place. How's that feel? Uh, it feels okay. Okay. It's not great. Yeah. Okay, well, surely you got some sponsors you want to thank or something. We got all these cameras, something's gotta be going on. Uh, I want to thank my parents. Those are my, those are my sponsors, probably. Okay. The biggest ones, yeah. They, okay. They support me. So what is this? Is this all like a web thing, Facebook, uh, something like that? Uh, Instagram, it's up, YouTube. Snapchat? Yeah, Snapchat, yeah. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Snapchat, Instagram, MySpace, YouTube. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good job. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. I appreciate much. you. Appreciate it. All right. Good job. Thank you. All right. See you later. One pound, 14 ounces. Give him a round of applause. Time for 48th place. I don't know what was going on there. Make sure, put, make sure to frame that one. I show up on social media somewhere. Let me know. Thank you. Yes, we tied for like 40th or something like that, but that's not the final standings. There's still people to weigh in. Honestly, though, like the fact that we're sitting in 40th out of 150 for one fish just goes to show how amazing the fishing was. Didn't you think the fishing was amazing? It was pretty good. It was very amazing. It was very amazing. Very okay. amazing. Okay. Yeah, but it was very, it was very amazing. We are back at the cabin, rocking the uh, shades. What's up guys? Just wanna let you know that it was fun fishing with Flair. Wish it was on a different lake, but we still had a great time. We caught some fish, and I can't wait to fish with them next time. So, I have to drive home. It's about 4.30, which means I'll get home around midnight, which sucks, and I'm tired, but I have tests in the morning, and you guys know, school comes before Dude, fishing. school sucks. That's why I dropped out. Hey, but seriously, stay in school though, because <laughs> it's good. It's good for your brain, and unless you're me, and then you just drop out and you do YouTube full time. <laughs> awkward, awkward mic fist bump. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, see you, John. See you, Blair. Well, folks, driving home. It's uh, it's about 6:15 or so, so I've been on the road for like I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. I'm gonna be home by like midnight, which is uh, not too bad. But I wanted to kind of end the video as I was driving, as I'm leaving Table Rock, uh, just because the last thing you guys saw was me me saying goodbye to John. But I wanted to end the video and uh, just thank you guys for watching. And I mean, I really did have a fun time at Table Rock, although the fishing was pretty bad. It was bad for everybody. We weighed in like one pound, 14 ounces. And I don't know the exact place that we got because I tried to call John and he didn't answer. And, uh, there's not really any way for me to find out, but from my understanding we were sitting somewhere between 45th and 50th place Meaning if there were hundred and fifty teams and we finished 50th That means we beat a hundred teams and we had one pound one pound 14 ounces. We had one fish That means about a hundred 
of the boats, 100 of the teams blanked or caught a smaller fish than a pound and 14 ounces. So if that gives you any idea how bad the fishing is on Table Rock Lake right now, it was just a terrible day. John and I are not professional anglers by any means. We, we, we never, none of us say that we are. None of us try to act like we really are. We're just everyday people that love taking cameras along on fishing adventures and sharing them with you guys. I wanted to give a huge thanks to Dynamic Sponsorships, Car, and Toyota for sending John and I down there uh, for a great time. It was a Toyota owner tournament. If you guys did pick that up, was if you have a Toyota vehicle, um, you can fish the you can fish the event. But I wanted to give a huge thanks to those guys uh, for inviting us down for a really fun time fishing together. It's always a fun time collaborating with other YouTubers. If you guys want us to go anywhere else, myself, John, and any of the other members of the Guggen Squad. Uh, just comment down below and hit that like button and we'll make sure to do some more collaborations. I hope you guys enjoy the tournament fishing video. I, I really don't fish very many tournaments. It's actually fairly rare that I fish tournaments. And uh, so it's kind of nice to share that experience with you guys. Maybe now you guys understand why I don't like fishing tournaments. Because uh, a lot of times they don't they don't end uh, the way that you would like them, I guess. That's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thanks. I love how she waves at me like, good luck. You're done.